Hey guys, Kirk from the Forever Homestead. Um, so, you might remember from our, our video at the beginning of the year um, about our goals for 2017. Uh, one of them was to get some livestock, some goats or chickens, things like that on the homestead. Um, and the whole family uh, was pretty excited about it, um, or is pretty excited about it. Uh, with, I have so I had so many projects on the go this year um, that you know I kind of made a deal with everyone that we'll do all the uh, the livestock and things like that uh, as long as everyone helps. I can't, I, you know, I just don't have the time to do it on my own. Um, so we kind of put it out to you know family and friends and all that kind of stuff, and uh, got the project started. So first my, my son came down, uh, Jesse came down, uh, I think it was probably the beginning of June. Originally we were supposed to get um, our goats, I think the end of June it was supposed to happen. Uh, but then the breeder that we're getting them from, there was, a, there was an issue and one of our, one of our male goats uh, ended up dying. Um, so they, you know, we kind of put off the pickup for quite a, quite a while just because we didn't want there to be, you know, we wanted to make sure they were healthy because we already don't really know what we're doing um, <laughs> with goats or, or anything like that. So we put off the, the pickup for a while um, and then, um, but that gave us more time to build, I guess. Um, so yeah, Jesse came down and we started by clearing the clearing the property or clearing the, the spot where we're gonna put them. Uh, the spot, we kind of call it the Fern Gully. Uh, we're kind of walking back there now, but um, it's, we call it the Fern Gully just because, well, ferns grow everywhere. Um, so he came down, we, we cleared a spot. It was kind of like a sand bank, sand hill. So we ended up having to do some, uh, some leveling and, and, you know, pull out the rototiller and there's a lot of junipers and stuff that we had to get rid of. Uh, but once all that was done, then we were able to um, start building the, the, uh, the barn. So, uh, well, take a look. Hey guys, Kirk and the crew, working on the goat barn. Got uh, the creep here today helping out. Guys, so right now we are trying to level out the ground. Uh, this is all gonna be leveled out and then we're gonna build a, I can barely see here, then we're gonna build a, what is it? 10 by 12, I think, okay. barn. You know, if you didn't turn off the journey, we would have done this by now, but... What's that? If you didn't turn off the journey, we would have been done this by now. Who broke the pull cord? I only broke it because you turned it off, and I was angry at you, so I broke your shit. You cut it? <laughs> yeah, you cut it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever used one of these. <laughs> He's uh, chirping a lot for the, the 
guy that, you know, I control his up and down. <laughs> True. So after, uh, after we started all of that, uh, Jesse was here for the weekend. We got quite a bit done. Uh, we've got, you know, we had all the posts up. Um, we had the, the skids on the bottom. It is a, supposedly a movable barn, so we can hook it to our tractor and move it around if we, if we ever need to. Um, yeah, so once that was done, um, we had the frame up and stuff. And then um, a couple of weekends later, um, or a few weekends later, my... Uh, Son was bringing my uh, son Justin was bringing some friends out, and uh, they didn't show up for a couple of days or for yeah about two days. So he actually gave us uh, gave us a hand, and we got a bunch of the boards up uh, for the board and batten sides, um, and and started on the roof. At this point, it's starting to look like a barn. Uh, lots of lots of things still left to do. Um, Oh, bending under trees here. Uh, once the boards are up, uh, we had uh, another group of friends, uh, Julie and Rich and their kids came up and offered to give us a hand. So um, we actually uh, put them to work cutting all the battens. Uh, we just had uh, um, like 12 inch barn board that we were using. Uh, so we cut that down to uh, batten width. Uh, I think we did two and a half inches. Uh, and then kind of put them to task at staining all the battens uh, kind of a white. I'm kind of uh, modeling the barn after uh, after the, uh, the playhouse one that I had when I was little but uh, so we're gonna do like a red and uh, red finish on it. Um, oh not the poison ivy here. Uh, kind of do a, a red finish on it um, and then uh, red and yeah red and white white battens red board. Um, so at the end of the weekend, um, they all decided to go off to the beach after a well-earned, you know, working so hard all weekend. Uh, and then, uh, got Jessica in there with, uh, with a paintbrush. Hey guys, today we are out at the goat barn again. Uh, we've got a lot of the board and batten on. Uh, still have to do the roof, but today we're coming on the weekend so we're doing an easy project and we are doing the staining hello so pretty painting the goat by red <laughs> painting the goat by red <laughs> <laughs> we uh, had we have some friends down uh julie and rich were down well they're still down um and they got the uh the all of them and their children got all the battens painted white yesterday so once this is all done we'll be able to get the battens up and we'll uh, check back in with you all and show you what it looks like. Uh, now that the the barn is pretty much done um, got the uh, I got up on the roof and started to put uh, plywood down we just used some 7 16 uh, OSB uh, and then we're gonna put some some steel over it that still hasn't been done um, the uh there's some tar paper and some plastic over it right now uh but now we're kind of down to the wire uh you know the time for pickup it's mid-august uh the time for pickup is coming and we have uh basically i think five days to uh to get the fencing in um the fence is actually pretty long uh or it's a pretty good area i think it's I think it's about 70 feet by 40 feet or so. So it's a nice little pasture for them. Um, a lot of a lot of green stuff in there for them to to work away at clearing. Uh, there'll be some more stuff coming up, but I think we needed uh, overall we needed I think what was it 13 no 17 holes dug. How many do you have to go? Oh, 13 more. <laughs> How many have you done? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot out here today? So hot. But the goats are coming. Seven more sleep. Is it beer break time? I think so, please. <laughs> um, we just used some cedar posts and ordered a bunch of uh, ordered a bunch of fencing from uh, our local tractor supply, uh, and um, worked pretty hard. Now I said I wasn't going to work on it alone. You know, but there was a couple of days right at the very end 
um, when we had to get the fence finished. So I worked uh, a couple of days um, stringing fence along. Um, but with that, you know, it's kind of it was to the point that finally we can get the goats in. So um, uh, love to introduce you to uh, our uh, our two goats, but more about that <laughs> next time. Until then, have a good one.